Hey guys, coming to you with an update here. Um, so I'm going to go over how to properly acclimate your fish or inverts or any livestock you get. Uh, corals works the same for everything. So as you can see, my lights are off. Um, usually when I'm acclimating um, like shrimp or fish, uh, I have a little headlamp that I use. Um, and I, I use the, the red light on the headlamp and uh, I try to keep it as dark in the room as possible you know I only have these blinds and these lights on so I can show you guys a video but uh, you know usually I have all that stuff turned off and I just work in complete darkness um, that way you don't scare the fish you know I I, uh, I do it when the lights are off and uh, that way they're it's, it's a very sensitive and stressful time um, when you're getting a fish, uh, especially like me, I order a lot from online and uh, you know we do that there in boxes and things like that so uh, for this video you know it's gonna be out of lighting but I recommend you do it in as much subdued lighting as possible anytime you acclimate anything alright so this is the, what I do so first of all uh, you would put your bag um, you can use like one of these like little hooks here or clamps uh, you would put it let it float inside your um, your tank for about 10-15 minutes depending on how cold or hot the bag is you might want to do a little longer um, and I've got a little uh, I think it's a I can't remember what size but it's like a little, little uh, drip line you can get from Petco or a local fish store and uh, as you can see I got it on a, a drip method I've got a couple of knots in it uh, you can tighten these or loosen these as need be I'm, I'm acclimating snail so my drips a little bit fast if I was acclimating a, a sensitive fish like a butterfly or something like that, I probably would uh, have a much slower drip. So as you can see also, I have a little heater. And this is what I got from uh, Petco about a year ago. And it's adjustable. You want the adjustable ones. You see a little blue knob right there you can adjust on it. And what I do is uh, take a bucket of water. Uh, this is like a little, you know, just like a normal salt bucket. Filled up to about you know like half like about a quarter of the way full and uh, put the heater in it and see um, match the heater up with your with your tank so you might have to adjust that heater to get it at 78 degrees or if you keep your tank a little warmer at 80 you'll you'll want to adjust that heater because these heaters are rated for you know 20 gallon tanks so obviously uh, if you put it on 78 it's gonna probably be around like 82 um, for such a small amount of water so for the example this is at 73 and it really keeps the water at this level about 79 degrees if that makes sense um, I also keep a little thermometer in here and as you can see um, the water is okay so it's pretty good that's right around see 79 78 pretty close uh, so that's cool I got some snails they're hard to see I got some snails I got a four scarlet reef they have the orange on them and then I have a zebra turbo snail and a Mexican turbo snail I got these for Petco for about I think total was about 20 bucks uh, I usually don't recommend going to Petco for anything well not my Petco they suck but uh, but yeah so that's about it really um, you know, and of course, you just want to monitor things, and you're going to need to remember to uh, keep filling your tank up every so often. Uh, you know, obviously, it takes a while for the this level in your sump to drop, but you still need to be cognizant of that. Because um, if you don't, you'll start hearing a gurgling sound, and that means that your water's below your return pump, and you need to add some water. So uh, that's my little update. Um, you know, a lot of people just dump snails or hermit crabs right into the tank it's no big deal sometimes they live but you have to remind yourself that they're, they're still sensitive invertebrates yes they are hardy but you know you don't know what the phosphates and nitrates and the ammonia levels are from the pet co tank that I got them from they could they could have been off the charts you know you don't know so I mean it's, it's almost like you know buying you know weed in like a little baggie you don't know where that weed came from you know it came from a dealer but unless you test it you don't know where it came from so unless you test your water and if you want to if you want to test your water and if it all checks out with your tanks pretty close 
I might would say just float it for about 10, 15 minutes, dump the snails or hermit crabs in. But me, you know, I really don't. I I could have probably done that, but I think it's just easier to just drip acclimate them, make sure all the parameters are right. You know, everything will start getting uh, nice and settled with them. And then when you drop in your tank, hopefully you don't have any losses. You know, they might only cost two dollars, but hey, you know, loss is a loss. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.